Alright folks, I'm now going to be trying to begin a brand new run of Jeopardy on the Apple iPad. And yes, I said it correctly this time. Not like yesterday when I accidentally said Nintendo iPad. Anyways, uh, I have a, I have Great by 79 with me on Skype for this. Alright. And easy as always, and we have a choice of standard game and a celebrity game. I think I will do a standard game. And our opponents for this are Laura and Anthony. Now, my previous run ended last month on game 8, so I'm going to try another run. Categories are belly up to the bar, old TV shows, good doggy, branded, mind blowers, and finally, pop music. And of course, like always, we have one daily double up there in this first round. I'm going to start with old TV shows for 200. David Cassidy played Keith and Susan Day and play Laurie on this 1970s series. Play Keith. What is the Partridge family? Yeah, that's right. Same category for 400. This 1989 CBS Western was the highest rated miniseries in five years. Um, I'll say what is Centennial? No, that's not correct. It's either Gunsmoke or Bonanza, I think. That wasn't, those weren't any of the choices. Oh, okay. Lonesome Dove was the correct response. Ah. Okay. Alright, we're going for 600. Gina Lollobrigida showed up as Jane Wyman's half-sister on this series about a winery. It is not Dynasty. The correct response, what is Falcon Crest? Okay, 800 this time, and there's the daily double. And she can risk up to 1,000, but she's only going for 100. Or, or he, rather. Canberry was the commander of Fort Courage on this goofy cavalry sitcom. What is the F troop? And that's right. And where to now? Old TV shows for 1,000. Answer there. Morgan Fairchild starred in this 1980s TV series based on a Joan Crawford film. What is Flamingo Road? Yeah, that's right. And Anthony's out of the hole. Good doggy, 200. Phil and Dottie Winslow are the comic strip couple who own this great dame. Uh, who is Marmaduke? Yes. And I've read some of the Marmaduke comics, by the way. They're comic strips. Good doggy for 400. The Alpine Hospice name for this saint is famous for bleeding dogs to trap lost travelers. What is a St. Bernard? Yes, and now I'm out of the hole. Good doggy, 600. A miniature bulldog named Bandit belongs to this adventurous TV cartoon boy. Oh, boy, uh, Johnny Quest, I think. Oh, oh, shoot! I don't know what the answer was. Oh well. Oh well. An ASPCA program began in began 1992 to promote the adoption of these dogs when they retire from racing. What are greyhounds? Yeah, it's greyhounds, but Anthony got it. Ah. I'll see the cow's husband. He gets his face on glue bottles. Oh, Toro? What is Toro? Nope. Elmer. Okay, branded for 400. This cross-country skiing simulator wasn't invented in Scandinavia. It's from Minnesota. Uh, what is Nordic track? Yes! Good doggy for a thousand. Garm, a hound in Norse mythology, is often compared to this canine of Greek mythology. Who is Cerberus? Yes! Then at 1600. Uh, how about pop music for 200? In 1977, they were one of the biggest bands in the world, and Steve Miller told us to fly like one of them. Who are the Eagles? Yep. Pop music for 400. Who's Counting? This, Adele's second album, debuted at number one in 2011. Oh, 
gosh. 21. And for the record, I do not listen to any Adele music. Although my mom does have an, some Adele CDs. Uh, let's try Branded for 600. In 1986, this company introduced its Dockers line of men's casual wear. Levi's. Yeah, for Levi's jeans. Mind blower sweater. Decca Records rejected signing this brand in, band in 1962, saying, We don't like their sound, and guitars are on the way out. Who are the Rolling Stones? Nope. The Beatles. That was my next choice. Oh, well. Mind blowers for 400. This press's second inaugural address was the shortest in history. Only about 30 seconds long, possibly due to bad teeth. George Washington. And, uh, next time brush before you give a speech? <laughs> Hemp for victory was a U.S. government slogan to urge farmers to help win this war. What is World War II? Mind blowers, 800. No pop music, 600. In 1973, Ben Mittler revived this 32-year-old Andrew Sisters hit, reaching the top 10. Uh, what is Boogie Woogie Bugle Boy? Yes! Alright. Uh, pop music, 800. Hey, yeah, by Outcast says to shake it like one of these. They say to shake it like a Polaroid picture. Pop music for a thousand. This young heartthrob released his platinum selling My World album in 2009. Oh, I should know this thing. Oh, and it's someone who I despise of. Justin Bieber. Oh, yeah, Justin Bieber. I was thinking that. Belly up to the bar 200. Two colors are in the name of this drink. Equal parts ale and stout or porter. What are black and brown? Nope. Black and tan. I had one of them. Belly up to the bar for 400. The brine from this garnish is what makes a dirty martini dirty. It's an olive. And Laura gets to select again. There are Brooklyn and Bronx cocktails. This whiskey cocktail is named for another borough of New York City. What is Manhattan? That's right. Belly up to the bar, 800. The name of this drink that can be blended or on the rocks means daisy in Spanish. Uh, what is the margarita? And we're in the lead now at 3,400. Belly up to the bar, 1,000. Angostura is a brand of this aromatic liquor. Amaretto, no, that's not right. We are looking for bitters. Mind blowers, 800. There are about 4,000 species of mammals, 8,700 species of birds, and 1 million known species of these creatures. Those are insects. Mind blowers for 1,000. In 2002, the Hormel Corporation produced its six millionth can of six billionth can of this food stuff. What is spam? Branded 800. It's the quicker picker upper. What is bounty? And that's right. And let's take a look at the last clue. Brother began by making sewing machines. It made its first portable one of these in 1961. Their first typewriter. Alright, that's the end of the Jeopardy round. We're in the lead at 4,200. Laura's in third with 1,000, so she's going to pick first in double Jeopardy. Let's see the category, shall we? And we have... What a Gem. Down Ecuador Way. Weights and Measures. Fictional Females. How's the weather? It's just fine, thank you. <laughs> huh. 
and the 16th century. Left at the altar as a girl, this Dickens character still wears her wedding dress. Oh god, I know this one. Okay, who is it? I think it's... I think it's Miss Havisham. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, that was uh, for expectations. Okay. And, all right, how's the weather for 400? September 4th, 2007 was the first time that two of these, Henry and Felix, may landfall on the same day. What are hurricanes? Yep. How's the weather? 800. Mountain passes speed up hot, dry air, giving this U.S. state its Santa Ana winds. What is California? Yep. And I've been to California, so I know that one. So I knew that one. How's the weather? 1,200. The forecast is cloudy with a 30% chance of these, characterized by the sudden start and stop of light rainfall. Uh, what are showers? That's right. How's the weather for 1,600? High clouds may bring this type of damaging precipitation, especially to the alley fort in the Rockies. What is snow? That's not correct. We're looking for hail. Oh, I was thinking that. How's the weather 2000? Longer autumn nights let the ground cool, producing condensation and the ground type of this. What is fog? Yes, that's right. And time to go somewhere else. 16th century for 400. In 1541, Francisco de Orellana took a trip up this river he named for the bow and arrow-wielding woman seen on it. Uh, what is the Magdalena? Nope. It was the Amazon River. 16th century, 800. Frederick the Wise protected him in Wartburg so he could translate the Bible in defiance of the Edict of Worms. Who is Martin Luther? Yep, that's right. 16th century, 1200. This artist couldn't finish his portrait of Francesco del Giocondo's wife. Who is Caravaggio? Nope. Leonardo da Vinci. What a gem for 400. This greenish blue gem is so popular in the Southwest that it has its own museum in Albuquerque. Um, what is. Sapphire? Nope. Turquoise. It's the capital city of 1.8 million. What is Quito? There we go. Down Ecuador Way 800. These islands, made famous by Darwin, became a part of Ecuador in the 19th century. Oh. The Galapagos Islands. Oh, yeah. Uh, how about weights and measures for 400? It's 9.46 trillion kilometers, give or take a few kilometers. Uh, what is an astronomical unit? Nope. It's a light year. Buzz light year to the rescue. Weights and measures 800. Founded in 1875, the International Bureau of Weights and Measures is headquartered at Severs near this capital. And that would be Paris. Laura, go again. Weights and measures 1200. Circles, thermometers, and college grads are marked by the number of these they have. Uh, what are degrees? Yeah, and I got it just in time. Oh, makes sense. Weights and measures for 16. One magnum of champagne equals this many standard bottles. Two. Two bottles. Weights and measures for 2,000. Answer. Daily double. The first of the two in this round, and we have $9,000 to put at risk. I am going to try 1000 only. One weight still used from the old 
apothecary system is this ounce. Uh, what is the drachm? No, it's not the drachm. It was the troy ounce. Okay, so I was smart to just risk a thousand. Uh, let's try fictional females for 400. Her lines include, what a curious feeling, how queer everything is today, and I didn't know that cats could grin. Who is Alice? Yep. Fictional females, 800. Frederick Winterbourne had many thoughts of this flowery Henry James girl. Daisy Miller. Fictional females, 1,200. Theodore Dreiser's own sister, Emma, had a fling of a married man helping inspire this title woman. Who is Sister Carrie? Fictional females for 1,600. Ursula and Gudrun Be Brangwen are the title characters of his Women in Love. Who is D.H. Lawrence? Okay, 16th century for 1600. In the 16th century, a new one of these was elected by Venetians who were picked by the lottery. What is Doge? Yep. What a gem 800. Also known as, as Chrysoberyl, this gem produces a streak of light resembling the pupil of a certain animal when cut a certain way. Uh, what is Bird's Eye? Nope. Cat's eye was what we needed. In March 2008, Ecuador mobilized its troops in response to anti-rebel actions by this neighbor. That was Colombia. In 1822, the city of Guayaquil was the site of a historic meeting between Jose de San Martin and this liberation leader, who is Sim Simon Bolivar, yep. Ecuador's longest borders with this country to the south and east. It is not Chile. Peru is what we needed. 16th century, 2000. Though he discovered a name Florida in 1513, he didn't try to colonize it until 1521. Who is Ponce de Leon? That's right. Uh, what a gem for 1200. Off in the lemony color, this variety of quartz has a name derived from the type of fruit that a lemon is. What is a citron? Uh, let's go for 2000. Answer, the other daily double. Um, I'll just go 200. Utah's official state gem is this stone that's often golden, but can be pink or blue. What is topaz? And that's right. And let's take a look at the last clue. Silent screen star Mary Pickford bequeathed the star of Bombay and 182 carat one of these gems to the Smithsonian. And it's a sapphire. All right, that's it for that's it for the double Jeopardy round. Let's take a look at our category for final Jeopardy. World leaders. And we have ninety four hundred dollars. All right, I'm gonna try for six hundred. Unable to say this future leader's tribal name, a teacher gave him a new name, perhaps after a British naval hero. I'll say who is Kofi Annan. It is not Kofi Annan. It was Nelson Mandela. So we finished in second place. So unfortunately, we cannot start a new run for this one. Oh, well. Uh, well, we'll have to try again.